Now, though, it's time to welcome back to Blue Peter, Mr. Greg Furt. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Greg. How you doing? What have you got for us today? I'm so excited. Right, about this. I want to bring the weather from outdoors indoors. Okay. Yeah, I want to make cloud and rain right here in the Blue Peter studio. Well, I definitely want to see that as well. What's this? Let's start with the cloud. So I'm going to make you a little cloud and then we are going to supersize it. So first of all, question for you, what is a cloud made of? Easy, water. Good man, yeah, water. But the real question is how does that water clump together into a cloud uh... and how does it stay up there? Okay. So all around us is, is air and that's made of a whole bunch of different gases. You've got oxygen that you breathe in, you've got carbon dioxide that you breathe out, a whole host of others including water but as a gas. We call it water vapour. Okay. Now as all that gas rises, that water vapour rises, it cools down when it gets to the top of the atmosphere and when it cools down enough it can actually turn from a gas to a liquid. If you think about when you breathe on a really cold window, like that. Our condensation. Yeah, so that the water vapour, the gas in your breath, cools down into little droplets that you see. Yes. It's called condensation. That's all a cloud is, just condensed water vapour. Now, well, can you start pumping on the Some eye protection for you Thank first. You. Remember, safety never takes a day off on Blue Peter. True that. Right, 15 pumps, please. So what you're doing right now is you're pumping air into the bottle, OK? And the air has got water vapour in it, and I'll put a little bit of water in there as well. So you're building up the pressure. When the pressure's enough, I'm going to pop the top off. The pressure's suddenly going to decrease, which actually cools the whole thing down. So it's going to be like what happens up in the atmosphere. It cools it down, and hopefully we'll get a cloud. Okay. But what it needs to do is it needs to actually have something to grip hold of. All those water droplets need to grip onto something. Up, up there in the sky, it could be salt from the sea. It could be... It could be dust, it could be soot from a wildfire. So I put a little bit of oh, soot wow. in here very carefully earlier. Right, you ready? Yes, Three, I am. Two, one. Yes! Yeah! yeah. Wow. You see that cloud in there? There's a cloud in the bottle. That is it. There's probably millions of little tiny water droplets in there to make our cloud. That's crazy. So I'm going to make a much bigger version of that to fill the whole studio okay. afterwards. The question, I guess, is how it actually stays up there. Yes. Right? And it's because the droplets are so, so tiny. They're so small, they're surrounded by air, they're light enough to float up there. But once they start banging together and the cloud grows, the droplets get so big that they can start to fall. And that, of course, is... Rain. Rain. Question for you, Razzie, yep. from Blue Peter. What shape is a raindrop? A shape, and that's easy, so it's like a teardrop, so it's a bit like that. Uh -uh. I'm going to show you. Right. This is a raindrop levitation device yes. that I built earlier. You're going to love this. <laughs> um, we obviously can't skydive next to a raindrop to see its shape. So what this is going to do is air is going to rush up and I'm going to try to keep a raindrop in, in place. So the air is going to be rushing around it. It's kind of exactly the same as what happens as it falls. Wow. So let's give this a go. My air is on. Yep. I can now what that. I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put a raindrop in there. Oh. More air! More air! More air. Oh. Oh. There we go! There we go! Now, that's not bad. Very hard to do live. Absolutely. So what I did is I filmed it in slow motion earlier in the rehearsal. Amazing. Have a look and tell me what the shape is. Watch okay. this. This is amazing. Watch. Out it comes. Okay, it goes in. It's flat. Yeah. It's flat. Oh, it it's really flat. Look at that. Flat there. Underneath. How gorgeous is that? This, Rads, this is my favourite fact, okay. right? Hit me. You'd think a raindrop is round, yes. spherical, like a ball. Well, when they're really, really small, they are that shape. But when they get bigger, they fall, and they fall fast, like 15, 20 miles an hour. They're falling, and all the air is hitting them underneath, and it squashes the bottom of the raindrop, and you get that beautiful burger bun shape yeah. that you saw. Why you said teardrop is you always see it running down a window. Yeah, or dripping out of a tap. What that does is it pulls some of it behind it, and it kind of creates this tail. There you go. So there you go, it's all a big myth. Yeah. Now, Greg, I hate to hurry you, yeah. but I want to see the big one. Let's do it. Right, come okay. over here, my friend. Right, what you're going to need is to put on this, uh, this poncho, because this could get a little bit damp. Now, remember, a cloud is just trillions of drops of water vapour that have condensed, that have cooled down into water droplets. OK. So, Tom, can you bring on my ingredients for a cloud, please, mate? Tom, come out, my friend. Thanks, yes. Tom. What's so, in this? Uh, in this is everything <laughs> we need to make a cloud. Thanks, buddy. So what we're going to do here is we've made ourselves nice and safe. Nice and safe like this. Now, we need something very, very cold, right? Because when it's up there in the cloud, that's what causes your cloud to condense, to cool down. So what I've got here is liquid nitrogen. Now, whilst you're pouring that, I do have to say, please, for goodness sake, do not try this at home. That's why we've got masks. Greg knows exactly what he's doing. Right, so there, we've got some liquid nitrogen. Now what I've also got is I've got some hot water. Even that looks cool. The hot water is going to go into my liquid nitrogen. It's going to turn it from a liquid into a gas. OK. Cold gas up in the air. That's going to cool down all the water vapour in the sky and hopefully make a cloud. I want to see this! Are we ready for this, guys? Okay. Everyone Brilliant. on the floor happy? Yeah. OK, so in three, two, two one... one. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Oh, that is amazing! Yes. We've just 
just made a cloud on Blue Peter, Mum. Yeah! Can look we see that again? That's that. in slow motion, look at that. Oh, that looks good. That's, That's amazing. amazing. So there it is, our cloud. Guys, just all those water drops gonna... in the air. Yes, yes. Mate. Greg, I love when you come on, because we learn so much, but come over this way. This is the science Bradley I love. Bradley absolutely loves this, because at the start oh. of the show, we asked you lot at home to get in touch with us and let us know if anything could rain out of the sky. What would it be? And, and why? why? There you go, Rads. Oh, you're quite wet. I am very wet. I'm surprised. I'm in a cloud. <laughs> um, Navy blue pickle starfish, great name, says it should rain massive buttery crumpets. I like that. <laughs> now, I like gold Robo Bluebell Star because they say sweet dogs, cats, horses, unicorns, hamsters, and crowns. You're not, you're hedging your bets. I love it. This is great. Uh, someone's gone for a food theme. Indigo oh. singing orca's gone for spaghetti, bolognese, and garlic bread. Such a good meal, though. <laughs> Such a good meal. Um, amethyst vanilla. No, I want to I wanna read a really good one, Rad. Read it. For you. It says Crimson Flute Canary says magical homework pens that just do all your homework Genius. for you. That's love you it. at school, Genius. isn't love it? Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Now, uh, Carice Cheeky Swan says, I would make it rain computers because I can them when my mum says I'm not I allowed. I can use them yeah. when I'm not allowed. I like it. Cheeky. Here's another animal one. Amethyst Vanilla Chicken wants it to rain chimpanzees, orangutans and gibbons. Big monkey fan. Yeah. I like that. Um, I kind of agree with this one. Lime Smiling Conker says, I would make it... There's so much cloud over there still. <laughs> I would make it rain dogs, as I really like dogs, uh, and then I could have loads. I like that. Imagine loads of Iggies Good idea. just coming out of the That'd sky. Be pretty sweet. That'd be nice. Yeah. Now, time for one more. Pearl Random Peach says, I'd rain genies. So Ooh, they nice found work. a flaw in the question and exploited it. Good work. Now, as you know, if you've been on the Blue Peter fan club page, we've been playing presenter bingo, and the phrase today was, it's all about the, the badge. badge. And the person who got that was, I can reveal, Quartz, uh, what was it? Quartz Brainy Kid. So, Quartz Brainy Kid, well done to you. Good job. That's all we've got time for today, but make sure that you're watching next week. There is loads happening, including Nathan Sykes, who's going to be here to perform his brand new single. And trust me, it is a beautiful one. Now, my training has begun, but it's now time for me to climb up a wind turbine and see just how it works. Make sure you watch that. I can't wait. And this is a bit of a tongue twister, but we're looking at the amazing tech behind the puppet penguins in Mr. Popper's Penguin Musical. Alliteration! Oh, I got there in the end! Boom! It. Boom. <laughs> see you next week! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>